Today's Mass Readings July 2, 2020 Thursday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Amos Amos chapter 7 verse 10 to 17 Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words. For this is what Amos says, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say prophesy not against Israel, Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 19 verse 8 to 11 let our response be. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup, or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Gospel reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Matthew chapter 9 verse 1 to 8 After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing, and came into his own town. And their people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking, and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this they were struck with awe, and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel Some people today look on Jesus as having been no more than an admirable human being and teacher. But in this scene, not only does Jesus set out to show his original audience that there's more to him than this, he almost seems to be reaching out to ourselves over the centuries, to cure us too of any such ideas. With the paralytic, he doesn't just perform a miracle of healing. 
he lays down a claim beforehand and then the miracles is to be the proof that backs up the claim. The people of that time had no illusions about the claim that Jesus was making. Either he was going to act through God's power or he was blaspheming, a crime for which offenders could pay with their lives. Jesus was more than a teacher or preacher. He was also a worker of miracles. Further again, however, he was much more than just a wandering preacher to whom God might have given the gift of healing. He was on earth to give us a living, first-hand demonstration, both through his words and his works, of what the God of heaven is actually like.